Sometimes when you get to a body of water and you see that it's really dirty or really muddy, it can be really discouraging. But the thing is, is that bass are not afraid of dirty water and you shouldn't be either. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Oh yes sir. Here we go, baby. There have been professional tournaments that guys have won just because they are fishing in that dirty water when nobody else will. And the thing about that mud is that it will help you to catch bass that are otherwise uncatchable. Today, I want to talk about three critical things that will help you to catch more bass in muddy water. So stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. This video is brought to you by the Deep Dive app. This is an app that can really cut down on the amount of time it takes for you to go out and figure out the bass. Once you download the app and you get to the lake that you are fishing, you can input the data that you are seeing real time. This includes data like water temperature, water clarity, whether that lake has vegetation or not, and whether you are fishing in a protected area or a area that has a lot of wind. Once you make all those selections, it's going to spit out some strategies and lures that you can use to catch the bass right now. There's a paid version and there's a free version. So if you're interested in that, click that link down below and you can download the deep dive app today. Now, before we talk about those three critical things that I think you should know when it comes to fishing in muddy or dirty water, I really want you to understand what dirty water is. And for the most part, I'm talking about water visibility that is less than two foot. So if you can only see a foot down or a foot and a half down, that is considered dirty or muddy water. Now, along with defining muddy water in that way, something that is really important is that you should never fish in what I call fresh mud. What I mean by fresh mud is muddy water that has just gotten muddy. This is typically going to be water that has a lot of sediments floating around in it. If you can look down into the water and you can literally see like grains, like little sediment in the water, do not fish that water. That is going to be unproductive. The fish go completely locked jaw if not escape that water altogether. But if you have muddy water that has actually been muddy for a while, like the water that I have right here, there's only about six or seven inches of visibility here, but it is older muddy water and it's actually not grainy. It's just a very muddy color and fish can be caught in this type of muddy water. The first thing that you should know when it comes to fishing this off color water is that muddy water tends to push bass shallow were. The reason that I'm saying shallow were is because it doesn't always push them really shallow. They're not always going to be found in a foot, two foot, three foot of water. That does happen a lot of times, but it tends to just push the bass up shallower. For instance, if you fish a body of water where you fish offshore, maybe you're fishing structure a lot and that body of water gets a little bit dirty, what tends to happen is that those bass that are out there are going to move up on some of the shallower structure that they can find. So if you're typically fishing 15 or 20 foot deep for these bass and that water gets kind of dirty or muddy, those bass may not all go to the bank. There's gonna be some that obviously stay out there and they might move to that shallower structure. This might be a hump that's only eight foot on top or 10 foot on top. Now, with that being said, you're also going to have a population of bass that does get really shallow that can be found in kind of that one foot to three foot range. And the thing about dirty water, muddy water is it really makes bass catchable that aren't catchable when you're fishing clear water situations. There's a lake near me that tends to stay pretty clear. And sometimes, especially in the springtime, it will get a little off color. It will get a little bit muddy. And there's actually some bigger smallmouth on this lake that are really hard to catch when you're fishing in that clear water situation. But when you have dirty water, those big smallmouth all of a sudden can become catchable. The same thing will apply to largemouth. Sometimes in clear water lakes, if you're fishing for largemouth, they can be difficult to catch. But if you have some muddy water that gets in that area, those bigger fish that are hard to catch in that clear water are going to move up into the laydowns and stumps or on rock banks where they can become catchable. We've actually seen this in a number of professional tournaments where you have guys that target muddy water and they're catching a better average size of fish just because that muddy water makes that fish catchable. Got it. God. 
Oh my gosh, we got her. That's the one we lost. <laughs> there we go, baby. The next thing to know about fishing dirty water, and this is one of the most important things that I've ever learned in bass fishing, is that the first places to get muddy on a water system are typically the first places to clear up as well. So if you fish on a bigger reservoir or lake, there are gonna be certain creek arms that tend to get muddy every time that it rains. And sometimes the whole lake will get muddy as well. But the big thing about that that is so important is that same creek will be the first one to typically clear up before the rest of the lake does. I was actually told this by an old man like way back in the day. I honestly, I can't even remember this guy's name, but he actually told me this after we had fished fished a local tournament on a body of water and I was fortunate enough to win this particular tournament and during the practice for this event I went out a couple of days before the tournament just to try to get a feel for the water and there was one creek on this lake that I always loved to fish because I felt like I caught a lot of big bass there. When I went there during this practice day that one creek was actually pretty muddy. It was way more off color than the rest of the lake and I couldn't catch any fish in it at all. However by the time Time the tournament had started the entire body of water that I was fishing was muddy it was way off color it was very difficult to go out there and catch fish by about one o'clock during this tournament day I had only caught two small keepers and I just decided to go back into that creek because I was like why not and when I got in there I realized that the water that was in this creek was slightly clearer than the rest of the lake I immediately started catching fish and I actually ended up winning out of that particular creek and the big thing was is that nobody else was in this creek because like me they probably thought it was going to be completely blown out but because this was the first creek to get muddy it was also the first to clear up and i remember after i weighed in that day i was talking to this old man i remember him just saying that exact same thing he said the first places to get muddy are the first places to get clear and after that i've seen it so many times on so many different bodies of water that this holds true in a lot of places now before we get to the third thing that's really important about muddy water i do want to mention that if you can find a tad bit clear water on the lake or the body of water that you are fishing whether that's a creek arm or a pocket whatever it may be if it's a tad bit clear that's going to allow you to catch more bass now the third tip when it comes to muddy water fishing is that finesse techniques will still work in muddy water i know a lot of times when we get into these muddy water situations we're thinking crankbaits and spinner baits and things that have a bigger profile in the water and those absolutely will catch fish but i have seen a lot over the years that finesse presentations can still catch bass now i'm not typically going to start with a finesse presentation but if i'm fishing in muddy water that is colder maybe it's in the low 50s or even the high 40s that's typically when I'm gonna pick up those finesse applications. Or if I'm fishing in very highly pressured bodies of water, that's another time where a finesse presentation in that dirty water can still help you to get a lot more bites. I was fishing a tournament on the James River several years ago and I was flipping and pitching a jig and my co-angler got in my boat and he was throwing a drop shot. And this water was pretty off color. It was only about foot and a half two foot of visibility and my co-angler picked up a drop shot and he actually caught the two biggest bass that day on a drop shot in that dirty water. And the big thing was, is that I was fishing a tournament with 200 plus boats. And if this water had been clearer, I would have definitely picked up a finesse technique because of all the pressure, but because it was dirty, I just didn't think about it. But my co-angler, he didn't care. He threw that drop shot and because of it, he caught some bigger bass. Now, when it comes to other lure choices in dirty water, I actually did a video where I kind of talk about what to throw in clear water, dirty water, in stained water during the spring. I'm going to link that video right up here for you guys to check out next. Also, don't forget to check out the deep dive app, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.